Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch and today I'm going to explain to you how you put hair presets into the new V-Rage Studios. And I know I didn't want to do any more V-Rage tutorials, but I keep getting asked this question on every single one of my videos and I'm kind of tired of it. So I'm going to explain it. Um, because it's a little convoluted because new v right is... Yeah. Anyways, so let's say you downloaded a hair preset and you want to put it on your new v -Roid. Um, unfortunately you can't just yet. You have to get the older version of Vroid, and you can do that by going to vroid.com, click over to Vroid Studios, wait for it to load, scroll all the way down towards the bottom, and you're going to see Vroid Studio Beta Download. You're going to click it and just grab 14. 14 is a good one to have. I already have it on my computer, so I myself am not going to be uh, re-downloading it. Now, before you open up the 14, you're going to have to install the hair preset into the right folder. And you're going to do that by going into your local low and all that other stuff. So uh, what you do is you go into, you know, um, your C drive, your users, you click on your user, then you go into app data, local low, Pixiv, and then Vroid Studios. And if you have more than one Vroid Studio there, you're going to want the one that's Vroid Studio as one word and not two words. Um, yeah. So you should get a folder that looks kind of like this. Don't, except for this shit down here. Th these are all my presets. Now, if you download a preset off of the internet, there seems to be a lot of issues in my last video that people didn't understand. If you get a zip file or an RAR file, you have to open it up and extract the preset from it. So you'll see something in it that should be preset. It might be listed as something else. And you're not going to want to have like corkscrew hair, preset, whatever, because it's not going to see that. You just want the preset. When you click on the folder, you should see materials and a JSON file. If you uh, see another file you have to click in before you get that, you're too far in. You, you just need this. So as soon as you get the materials and the JSON file, then you're going to just go out one so you have that folder. And then you're going to drag and drop that into your uh, hair presets here like I have here. And that's how you'll get the preset in there. Uh, so at that point, then you're going to want to open, you know, your Vroid 14, your beta, and you're going to do a new. Uh, it just, it doesn't matter what the hell, what you pick. Um, just let this load up. Then you're going to go to hair editor. And then you're going to select your preset. And I guess I'll just do this one on import. Yeah, sure, whatever. This is something somebody commissioned. It's fine. Um, and I'm going to go save as, and we'll just do hair preset. And we'll save. And we'll close it out when it is. And now you're going to open up your Vroid version 1 or whatever it is. All right, so we see the hair preset here. We're going to um, convert it. Because once it's converted, we can't, you know, whatever. I don't really care where you save this. I'm just going to save it on the desktop. It's going to convert the model. We'll give it a second. All right. I think it's done. Yep, there it is. Now you select it once it's up here. And we just let it load in. All right, and now we have our hair in here, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to hairstyle. So the, the way that I found to do it is because you can't really add a new one, is that I go and I take something small like one of these, and then I go and I hit the edit hairstyle. Now keep in mind, it's still there. You got that little bloop. And I just right click and I delete it to get rid of the extra bloop. Now I just have this hairstyle here, which is in the overall hairstyle. Uh, and once we exit out of there, we're going to save as new item, and I guess we can do it as an overall hair. Save as new item. And give it a second. And now we have a new overall hair. Now we can go over here and go back to our model select. Uh, we can we can save. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then we can pick the model that we want to use and we're going to use the Argama model because it's right here and we go over to hairstyle and 
uh, overall hair and then we can select it and now we have our new hair preset in there. Um, yep. So that's how you do it. That's how you add a pre- I know it's a long drawn out bullshit method, but right now it's the only way to get presets. In. But anyways, I hope this tutorial has helped you out. And if you have any other questions about v -Red, you can leave them down in the comments below. I might answer them. I do my best to answer them. Or if you're a supporter, you can go ask them in my Discord and I will help you personally, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and that could be anywhere as being a member of the channel for $1, or being a Patreon member for $1, or being a Twitch sub. Um, yep. Anyways, uh, that's it for this tutorial. I know I didn't want to do any more V-Ray tutorials, but really what I mean is, if I feel like I want to do a tutorial on something, I'm going to do one. But that's not who I am as a content creator, and it's not what I really enjoy. So, that being said, I appreciate all of you for being understanding, and I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and all the YouTube shit, and I will see you in my next non v video. <laughs> Bye! Also, I'm a fox. Yeah.